well, talking? Yes, right. When communities come together, great things happen. And a fundraiser mm -hmm. coming up at the American Cancer Society is doing just that. That's right. Well, our friend Katrinka Reiner is here to talk about the upcoming funders are called Men Wear Pink. Katrinka, yes. good morning. Thanks good as morning. always. And this is always an exciting time of year uh, to kind of rally around and, and kick off this fundraiser. Tell us what this fundraiser is. You know, I'm pretty excited about it because obviously I love pink. Yeah. <laughs> but Men Wear Pink is a great program. We started it about at the American Cancer Society. Started it in 2013 in Jackson, Tennessee. Something mm -hmm. I was very curious to find out about. Since that time, it has raised $50 million. The purpose of the program is that men from the community, whether it be civic leaders, leaders of the community, whatever you find, come together to rally around breast cancer awareness. And as you know, the American Cancer Society you have the federal government, and then you have us when it comes to research. So we are the number two in the world when it comes to research for any type of cancer. So that means when you do Men Wear Pink, you're raising more money for the breast cancer awareness, breast cancer um, research. But the main goal this year is to raise awareness for the research and for health, health equity. I can get my words out. <laughs> we want people to, no one should not get a mammogram. No one should not get to their appointment, whether they're male or female. Because let's remember, breast cancer affects mm -hmm. both male and female. Mm -hmm. yep. Over 300,000 people every year will be diagnosed with breast cancer. So what a great way to support a great cause. Absolutely. So what will all this involve? How does this fundraiser work? All it's going to involve is for the month of October, some great individuals are going to wear pink every day. And we're going to ask you to wear pink, and that can be as simple as a pink lapel pin. That can be as simple as for this year, we've incorporated pink bracelets. And these are pretty cool, because what will happen is you will have on your phone, you will have your own website, your fundraiser app. So when you are out and about, people can say, hey, I want to donate to your, to your event. They can tap your bracelet, your fundraiser app page will automatically come up and they can Venmo you, they can PayPal you, however they want to get you your money. So no more the old days of writing you a check <laughs> or handing you cash. They can just automatically do it. And wow. I think the thing that, that always stood out to me, I, I was uh, honored enough to do when I lived in Bowling Green a couple of years ago to participate okay. in this as well. And it's, you know, it's a national, you know, not just here locally, no. but it has the potential to have huge impacts locally. It does. I have got some great teams I'm so excited about got some great weathermen that are going to step up. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I've heard there's some awesome DJs here in town, I think at Town Square Media, that are maybe going to challenge you guys. Yeah, he's mediocre. Oh, <laughs> mediocre. I'll win. So it begins. I'm <laughs> headed there next. I'm going to have to throw that out there. Um, Center Point Energy is a huge, great, great supporter of ours. Uh, McMahon Exterminating, Lawrence Taylor, Edward Jones. Working distributors have got a great plan going on for us. Primetime um, restaurant, let alone we can't forget Marriott Brewing. They are going to host our kickoff party for us Thursday night, and we're just excited. So any other gentlemen out there, you're like, wow, my mom, my grandma, my sister, they dealt with breast cancer, and I want to be a part of that. Come on out to Marriott downtown Thursday night between 4 and 6, and we can get you set up and come be a part of this great community event. Well, I know I will see you. And you're going, yeah. are you doing this as well? I believe so. Yeah, I think I'm going to feed you. Guess what? You're signed up now. You're going, okay? Yeah. Joe just wanted you're to come because it's prime time's food. That's yeah. true. I'm kidding. No. I'll see you Thursday night. Thursday drink night. It. Thank you again. All right. Time for a break here. 642, Ron's forecast. And I'll have my pink bracelet starting Friday morning.